Good morning, folks. We are 100% focused on space weather today. Solar flaring kicked it up another notch. We'll look at solar wind enhancement, and the lack of coronagraph satellite data is now becoming a bit more concerning. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. The solar flaring continues. We took the largest flare of the uptick sequence overnight, an X4 eruption, from those northern sunspots. Southern sunspots are developing quickly now as well, and the solar wind enhancements have arrived. Let's start there with the CME impact, followed by the start of the coronal hole stream this morning. Purple panel second from the bottom shows the plasma speed of the stream is rising slowly, the signature of a coronal hole. It's only modest at this point, and we had one geomagnetic storm condition crop up briefly overnight. The bigger story right now surrounds the solar flaring. On the right side of the X-ray flux chart here, the mountain shape in the line is the X4 solar flare, the fourth X-class blast in four days, third in the 24-hour window. We looked at two events yesterday afternoon, an X1 flare from the northern group which may have made a CME, an M-class flare that destabilized plasma on the south and looks even more to have produced a CME, and then, as most slept in the west, the X4 erupted from the northern sunspots. While any CME from here was not massive, it is likely that such a strong flare did make one. I can say from the coronal field breakout visible during the flare, that is northward, which tells me the CME is likely heading northward as well. The reason we have to make those determinations from SDO is because SOHO is in its third day of no data. I'm hoping everyone there just took Friday off early, were gone all weekend, and the data comes back today, because without SOHO it's almost impossible to properly diagnose CMEs. Further complicating the issue, Stereo A's coronagraph isn't bad, but it is missing data as well. You can see on the bottom the data jumps from midday yesterday to this morning. Luckily, it does show a northward angle to a CME likely erupted by the X4 flare, but we have no idea about yesterday's events, and looking ahead, these sunspots may yet produce more flares. I begin to wonder if the flaring uptick took out SOHO. Hoping not, hoping it comes back today when they get back in the office. As the northern sunspots begin to turn towards the limb, our focus will shift to the southern active region, which has significant development behind it as the core gains size and complexity. We are all eyes on the sun, hoping that Soho's eyes come back today so we're not left in the dark on that front. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.